Today I'm going to introduce our first piece of equipment. It's a dining room chair. So if you don't have one near you, um, go ahead, pause, and go get one, bring it back. Um, you'll probably also want um, an exercise mat. So we're going to be doing the exercises for 30 seconds. The first one we're going to do is one-legged squats. Um, so sitting on your chair, you can start sitting, might be easier, um, and then pushing up through that one leg. So 30 seconds on just one side, and then we're going to switch over to that other side. If these are too hard, you can just do squats or sit to stands as well for both of them. And then we have step ups, one side at a time, foot comes down, right back up. And then we're gonna move into plank rocks with a push up. So two plank rocks, starting hands right underneath your shoulders, rocking forward to your tippy toes. Two times, I'm coming down to my knees for my two push ups. Back up, we're gonna do lateral hops, back and forth across your mat. Also go ahead, add a touchdown once you get comfortable with that. And then the final one we're gonna do are tricep dips. So using your chair, scooting your butt just off of the chair, bend your elbows to come down into that dip. So again, we're gonna be going for 30 seconds. You have a little extra time, so that's excellent. Um, grab some water if you don't have it either. You'll probably want it. You get a little extra break here, so 10 seconds before we begin. Go ahead and get ready for your one-legged squats. A foot out, having a seat, and right back up. So if you need to place your heel on the floor for these, that's an okay place to start as well. They are a little difficult. They will be a little bit of a challenge, but they're great for your quads, great for your glutes. 10 second rest and then we're gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna let Ella outside for a minute. So other side, right back into it. Really focusing on pushing up through your heel here too. And if you need to set that other leg down, you can just primary focus on that one leg doing the lifting and the lowering. And if you just wanna go right into squats, that's fine too. And then for our step ups, choose a side, any side. We're gonna be stepping up to our chair, down and right back up. So a nice quick movement here, again, Lifting through the heel of your foot, pushing right up, using my arms to stay active here, helping drive the power. Five seconds left. Got a 10 second break on the other side. And here we go. one here and then we're gonna have that's one for lower body right now is what I meant and then we have a little core and arms to get into last five four three two and one all right so two plank racks and then two push-ups Go ahead and stay up on your toes if you can for your push-ups, but hands right underneath shoulders, coming forward on your tippy toes, and back. That's gonna help engage your core. Right 
Remembering to breathe through this. Inhaling and exhaling. This is some of my shoulder work as well, which I am in some need of right now. Ooh, ooh. Okay. And then our lateral hops with the touchdown. You can just do a few, get used to it, about three forward, three backward, because that's all that I have room for. Then once you're feeling good, try to add that touchdown as well. Why not do a little bit more of a one-legged squat here? Three, two, and one. And then try some dips. Remember to keep your hips or your butt close to the chair. You don't want to be out too far doing your dips, keeping your body close to the chair, bending at the elbows. The farther away your feet are from you, the harder it's going to be. So finding that sweet spot where you can last for five more seconds, moving your feet as necessary. That is the end of round one. We have two more to go. Grab some water. We have a 10 second rest and then we get going. So back to those one-legged squats right now. Sassy little thing this morning. Halfway, 15 seconds. I think after this, I'm going to rollerblade to Panera. I wanted to take Ella for a walk and then I'll rollerblade to Panera and get coffee because that's the only motivation for additional workout is coffee or alcohol. That's what it is, you know? Other side. I was having a nice time outside. I thought about doing the workout outside, but then I would have had to brought a chair, a mat, my iPad, my phone. Just a lot going on. So inside we are. Had to kind of rearrange, make it work. We have 10 seconds left on this leg if anyone cares. Whew. Good. And then turn around for our step ups. One side at a time, stepping up all the way down, just tapping that toe before we explode. Back up, go ahead and get your arms moving with you as well. Work in those quads, work in those glutes. Last three, two, and one. Quick little breather, just switching your legs here. and back up. Try not to let your head 
sag down. You don't want to be looking at your toes through this, just more so right down in between your hands. Ooh. Okay, back up for our lateral hops. Ooh. With the touchdown, if you're feeling like adding it, you can go for a little bit more speed here. If you're into that kind of thing, I'm not sure. We do just have tricep dips coming up next. So a little bit of an extra breather with that one. I feel like even though they're very hard to, so I don't know, eight seconds here. The last five, last three, two, and one. Whew, tricep dips are next. In three, two, one. Alice saved me from three seconds of these. She's such a little sweetheart. Ten seconds left. Remember bending at your elbows, dipping down. Last three, two, and one. End of round two, 20 second break here. Feel free to get some water. You have an extra 10 seconds. I'm feeling my heart rate should be higher. One legged squats, last round. Really trying to isolate that one side at a time. You might notice one side, you can do a little bit more on its own than the other. That's okay. It's important to isolate sometimes because you do get to favor one side over the other. And it's nice to know, kind of. Okay, other side, last one. Here we go. Remember, you can always do squats here as well. Go ahead, put your heel down if you need to. So a few modifications to help you through these last 10 seconds. Last three, two, and one. Whew. Turning around for our step ups. And here we go. One side, powering straight back up. This is our last round, so go ahead, add in a little extra power, add in a little extra speed, and let's see how many you can do. Halfway, 15 seconds. And then we are all done with this leg. Last five, four, three, two, and one. I'm not doing that last one. Quick breather. And here we go. Final side over here. Okay, try to go for a little bit more speed. This is your last round here. So power through, stay strong, keep moving. Eight seconds, last five, four, three, two, that's it. Down to our mat for our plank rocks. Really focusing on keeping that core tight. Belly button pulled back to that spine. Two rocks forward on your tippy toes and back down. Two nice push-ups. And all over again. Remember your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Five seconds. Lateral, lateral, touch 
touchdowns. I don't have touchdowns. I can really feel it in my glutes here now. That's good. Job well done so far. Twelve seconds left. Keep it moving. Keep it going. Last five. Burn it out. Don't fall down. And last one. This is it. This is our last 30 seconds. And we're done. Tricep dips. Here we go. Bending those elbows. Coming right back up. Burn these little babies out. They deserve to look beautiful as well. Everybody loves a good pair of triceps. I know I sure do. Mm. Wow. Triceps and calves. You might not think they're much, so you don't have them. And then, wow. They look great, guys. They really do. I said that's why it's important to do your pretty little triceps. Get them going too, you know? Have a great day, and hopefully we'll see you for another workout.